Hello, for today's quick tip, I'll be showing you how to create a hero image for your email newsletter using Snappa.io. On this page, you can create images for your social media posts, um, images for your ad uh, campaigns, uh, images for your blog, and in the header section, you can create a email header or a Twitter header or a Facebook cover photo. If you go ahead and click on the email header uh, preset of uh, 600 by 200 pixels, you'll be taken to a page where you can actually select some ready-made templates for a quick uh, starting point, or you can actually click Create from Scratch. I'm going to click on the back two image sizes, and I'm going to click at the top Create a Custom Size. Here, I'll actually put in 600 pixels width, and uh, 300 pixel height and click the create button. It then prompts me to uh, select a background to get started. Once you've clicked on the background tab, you actually have a few options available to you. You can select a solid background color. I'm gonna set that to white for now. In the My Media tab, you can upload your own images or select images that you have uploaded in the past. You can select a pattern to use as a background, or you can select an image from their uh, stock library. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select an image. After selecting an image, you can actually go ahead and add a effect to it. So you can add like a color overlay. Uh, let's see if I can and adjust the opacity of that overlay. Uh, you can darken the image. Uh, you can blur the image. You can adjust the saturation of the image. Um, so black and white, for instance. Um, you can adjust the hue, the brightness, and the contrast. I'm happy with this. Next, you can actually create a shape. I'll use uh, this one, for example. You can rotate the shape by uh, clicking on the anchor point here, or you can scale the shape by dragging on any of the other ones, and you can position it, it by selecting in the middle and just dragging. You can adjust the color of the shape and the opacity, for example. And you can also add a border and adjust the thickness, solid border or a dashed border. I'm going to go ahead and select none. Uh, in the graphics section, you can actually create, select a graphic to add to this. I'm just going to go ahead and just select one at random just for um, speed. Um, you can also sl uh, adjust the stacking order of the, the element by coming here and moving it backwards in the stack or forward in the stack. I'm going to go ahead and scale this. Oops. And just place it here for now. And you can add uh, text. I'm just going to go ahead and place this here and double click and I can adjust the text. I can also adjust the alignment of the text. So we have a slight line to the left. And now I can do it better. I can also um, uh, adjust the font type. Um, they've advertised around uh, 200 different font types. I'm just going to select this one. And I can add another text area. Uh, I can adjust the font size. Uh, put the five left. I'm going to go to uh, Lipsum and um, just grab some dummy text just to place here. And I'm going to put something just out of bound. Just put this in 
sense. I can create a, uh, a shape or maybe a button. And there you have it. You can also um, save your images if you want to, you know, come back to it later. And when you do this, it's actually saved in My Graphics, under the My Graphics tab. You can click here, go back to it. When you are happy with your um, final design, you can then go and click on the download button. And this will download the file to your computer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and I will be posting um, the link to the site in the blog uh, as well as um, uh, some helpful tips. Thank you.